hi guys welcome to my channel so today I have this new set of Thule Art acrylic paint pens and this is the earth and skin colors set um, it comes with 36 paint pens and I got the extra fine tip I have already used them on a couple of videos where um, I did some highlights. Uh, so I used them for the page I did from in Tales of the Forest Kingdom for the Mr. Tumnus page. I used them, um, I believe this was an antique red color. And I used, I believe it was light tan in his fur on his ears and his hair and that worked out really well instead of just white highlights you know I wanted something a little bit more toned down and something that blend in with the picture a little bit more I also used them on the very last video that I did was uh, Kirby Roseanne's Mythomorphia, and I used them in the tree highlights. Um, I used, I believe it was light tan here as well, light tan, and I don't know if you can see them, and just little highlights in the leaves of the tree here, and that color was lime. So far, that is all that I've used these pens for, and I haven't even had an opportunity to swatch them out. So I thought that I would do that with you here today. I'm going to go ahead and prime these pens because it does take a little while to get them all primed and get the acrylic paint flowing. So they do have on the back of the box, there is a color chart with the coordinating numbers and names for each pen. And there's instructions on the back here that tell you how to prime them and get them started. So I'll go ahead and do that off camera so that they're all ready to go and lay down on my already prepared Thule Art Paint Pen Color Swatch Chart. I've already numbered and wrote down the names so that, you know, basically all I have left is the fun stuff, which is coordinating the colors to the number on the chart. So I'll be right back as soon as I get all of these primed and ready to go. Oh, and I will save one pen so you can watch me prime it and kind of see what the process is to get them going. Okay, so I've gotten all of the pens primed and ready to go except for this one right here. I saved that one so I could show you how to prime them and get them ready to use. Um, and while I was doing that, I, I dumped all the colors out of the box and saw that there were extra nibs provided, which is really nice. Um, so that's handy. And then it came with this little booklet here that talks about all of the different contact or where you can find information for these pens. Um, it says that they're good for rock painting. So if you're into rock painting, that's these are going to be perfect for that. Actually, my I'll have to keep them out of my daughter's hands because she loves rock painting. I'll have to get her a separate set that is more bright colors and and fun colors for rock painting. Um, because you know I know she'll want to use them for sure. But anyway, so it comes with this little booklet. And it talks about if you're happy with the pens, that's great. Please share your experience. And if you're unhappy, give them a chance to make it right. Contact the um email 
or send them an email and they will they will help you out with that um, basically it just shows how to get them started uh, some troubleshooting tips here if they're not working correctly and how to replace the nibs here so yeah I know that they do come in other sets I've seen um, other people doing reviews on them uh, with the green sets and there's a blue set so um, there's a possibility in the future I might get another set of these but for now I'm gonna stick with these because like I was saying earlier these will be really nice for doing highlights on flowers leaves and also on portraits instead of using my my Posca sometimes I want something that's a little bit more toned down in color for um, you know where you white out the black lines along the face in places where there's highlights or if I just want to white out the black lines period somewhere at least now I have another tool in my arsenal of craft supplies to do that so let's go ahead and get started with the swatching first of all I think I'm going to start with this one that I left um, unprimed so that we can do it together and I got my scrap piece of paper here one thing that's really nice I noticed was on the barrel it has a little clear window here that lets you see the level of ink inside and that that's pretty handy I'm I'm liking that and on each pen it shows you how to prime them so basically what you want to do says the first step is to shake And then the second step says to push in order to vent. So you have to vent out the air. And what I did was I just took the bottom of, I have a Molotow, um, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly or not, but it's fairly flat. And that's what I was looking for was a kind of a flat surface to push the nib down. I just I was pushing it down for about three, five seconds just to make surely, sure, excuse me, to make sure that it is fully vented. And then push down, and then it says paint, and of course recap. <laughs> so we'll push it down, see if we see the ink flow, not yet. There it comes. You can see it coming out right now. All right, yeah. So this particular color, the reason why I saved it was this color is number 11, which is Piglet Pink. So cute. I love the names of these. So we'll go ahead and swatch this one out right now. Such a really pretty, delicate pink color. Oh my gosh. That will be really nice to use on the tips of flowers. Also, on certain skin tones too. All right, so I'll set that one aside. Okay, and as you can see, they're all numbered on the top and the numbers correspond to the number on the color chart on the back with the names. So number one is light tan. Ooh. There we go. Perfect, that's gonna be perfect for skin tones. Number two, warm taupe. Oh yeah. Yeah, I really like these. They when I used it um I used antique red, I believe, in the um 
Mr. Tumnus in the Forest Kingdom, it really, I was really impressed with the coverage that it provided. It really, they really provide some good opaque coverage. And I, I like that. I like that feature. Next color is Champagne. Oh, yeah. Number four. Leave these open like that. Number four is Desert Sand. I don't know. They're kind of... Ooh. I almost had a major malfunction there. I was trying to pull the cap off and twist it a little bit, and apparently these do twist off. So be careful of that. All right, Desert Sand. That's pretty. It almost has kind of a khaki feel to the color. Number five. Let's see if I can find it here. My goodness, there it is. All right. Walnut shell. That's kind of odd. I would think walnut shell would be a little bit darker. A darker brown color. Hmm. Six is clay. Let's see. That's nine. There's six. Well, that's nice. So I just found nine and six. And it's nice that they have the little line underneath so that you can tell them apart, not get them upside down, get the wrong color. Number six is clay. Something on my paper. Okay, seven, seven, hello, where are you? There it is. <laughs> Burnt umber, oh yeah, that's a good umber color. But being burnt, wouldn't it have more of a red tone to it? Anyway. It's still a good umber color, and I like I like my umbers. I use those the dark umber and light umber in my Prismacolor pencils. I go through so many of those. Okay, the next is number eight, Purple Plum. That's a pretty color. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is really pretty. You know where this would look good? Oh, idea. <laughs> I love it when I have little epiphanies or ideas. Um, is in a flower, the little dots on the inside of a petal. Yeah, great idea for that one. Actually, I might do that in my next video. I'm really uh, thinking of doing a... Hannah Carl's in. I know, big surprise. But um, there's a spring, let's see, a spring um, color along that I'm going to um, participate in over on Instagram. And I'll talk some more about it when I when I actually do the color along for, for that. But I have a picture picked out with a beautiful magnolia. And um, I might end up using this color for the little, for the little dots in the inside of the petals. So that's probably going to be either my next video or the one after that. So, okay, so that was Autumn Dusk. Uh oh, did I just grab the wrong one? I did. Oh no. <laughs> this was, see, I got to talking and that's what happens. So now you know the secret behind why I don't do a lot of color in chats. 
<laughs> because yeah, stuff like that happens. Okay, so this is actually rose pink. We'll put that down. I'm gonna let that, the autumn dusk, which was number nine, I had it set aside, remember when I was doing the six and the nine. So I'm gonna let this dry out a little bit and try it with some white out. Hmm. That's a problem I am going to have to figure out here in a minute. All right, so moving on to number 12. Okay, number 12 is peach. Yeah, that's a nice peachy color, as it should be. Number 13, rosy peach. Oh yeah, that would be a, a good one for skin. Let's see, summer tan, 14. Number 15, dark tan. Yeah, if... <laughs> Color and chat, I don't know how well I would do with those. Some people can multitask really well me, on the other hand, I'm a little bit more challenged when it comes to doing things like that. I'm one of those people that I really, really get focused in on something. I don't know what they call it. Tenacious, maybe? No? I don't know. But, and then if I, if I can't, you know, 100% concentrate on that, you know, something's going to suffer. <laughs> Okay, number 18 is Burnt Crimson. I'm loving these colors. And they're just so op opaque, I love it. 19, Antique Red. Oh yeah, that, that's such a wonderful color. It's almost kind of a brick red. Number 20, Rustic Orange. Twenty one, Tiger Lily. Beautiful. Twenty two, Baja Sunset. It's very bright, 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 and beautiful. Desert Sunrise, number 23. It's a nice creamy color with kind of a warm cream color. Number 24 is Sunflower. This almost has a chartreuse look to it. Yeah, that does not look like a sunflower to me. That's pretty chartreuse, if you ask me. Okay, this is why we swatch them out. <laughs> 25, lime. I mean, wouldn't you expect sunflower to be like bright yellow or almost a hint of orange maybe, but definitely bright yellow way more yellow than that okay so avocado 26 is next that's definitely an avocado color though 
27, Pale Olive. Moss Green, 28. Yeah, these greens are going to be wonderful for doing the edges of leaves. If I want to, you know, get rid of the black outline or, like I said, for the lighter colors, using them as highlights. Okay, 29, Dark Moss. Oh. That's a beautiful deep green color. Love it. Okay, number 30, Night Gray. Thirty-one Gauntlet Gray. a nice gray color. All right, number 32 is light gray, which if I were just looking at the outside of this, I would not consider it gray at all. It The cap and the ink inside looks like a taupe color to me, but okay. Let's see how it lays down. Actually, it's kind of a mix between a taupe and a gray, I think, in my opinion. We'll see how it dries. Maybe it'll lighten up or change a little bit when it dries. Next one, number 33, is Morning Sky. That's pretty. It's like kind of a real muted light, kind of almost a muted light grayish blue. It's really pretty. Okay, number 34 is slate blue. Almost down to the end, guys. If you're still here, <laughs> thanks for hanging in with me. 35, Newport blue. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. And number 36 is Deep Ocean. Ooh, what a beautiful color that is. Oh my goodness, I love that. I love rich, deep colors. All right. So anyway, these pens are really great. I think I'm going to get quite a bit of use out of them. I got to go back to this issue here let's see I'll try I don't know what else what to do about that um, I can try using my just my white out strip thing um, yeah I think I'll do that or if you know I could use let's see I could use white acrylic paint I'm just gonna use this um, so that's, that's the thing about these. They're, you never know where, where it's going to come out here. All right. Make sure it's down flat. It's just a color swatch, so, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? That's what I got to tell myself. <laughs> so, make sure I have the right one. Number nine, <laughs> Autumn Dusk. Okay. I'll go lightly over here, so over the white out tape I put down so it doesn't mess that up too much. Oh, yeah. Oh, that actually worked. <laughs> Yay! All right. Well, there we have it. The set of 36 acrylic, Thule Art acrylic paint pens.
these pens are going to come in so handy in the future with lots of future projects I kind of envision in my head here. So yeah, I definitely recommend these pens to anybody who thinks that they might want to give them a try. Um, I think you'll be happy with them. I really do. Um, so I guess that's pretty much it for today. So until next time, bye. folks thank you for hanging in there with me um you know cut